even before the sun rises or the local cock crows to usher in the new day, voices can be heard from downstream. On a closer look, men and women, from the old to young, can be seen hard at work. They have braced the morning cold to build a sand dam. It will take more than a week to complete this structure, but the fruits will be seen for decades to come. Water scarcity will be a thing of the past to them. This is just one of the many projects that Utooni Development Organization, UDO, has helped the community to undertake. Utooni Development Organization, UDO, was started in 2002 and registered as an NGO by the late Joshua Mukusia in 2005. The organization is built on the early work of Utohoni Development Project, an indigenous self-help group formed by Joshua and six families in 1978. Its vision is to build peaceful, healthy, and happy interlinked self-sufficient communities through justified sustainable development. The mission for UDO is to support Support disadvantaged communities in the arid and semi-arid lands ourselves to transform their environment in a sustainable manner enabling farmers to improve water supplies, food production, income and health through intercommunity education, peace and justice. As their philosophy UDO neither imposes solutions nor takes a specific solution-based approach to their work. Five basic principles guide them and these are community engagement, community empowerment, community cooperation, community resources, and community sustainability. Their core values include cooperation, teamwork, honesty, and courage. Building sand dams is the core activity of Utohoni Development Organization. What is a sand dam? One would ask. Over the years when there is rainfall, seasonal rivers amass water, but as soon as the rains subside, so does the water in the rivers. Sand dams are built to counter this. They are reinforced concrete walls built on a rock bed across these seasonal rivers to capture and hold water under the sand over a rainy season. This is Kaiti River in Makweni County, one of the assholes in Kenya. With support from UDO, Kaiti River Self-Help Group has undertaken to build a sand dam. As soon as the sand dam construction commences, the water level in the river starts to come up. Two weeks after finishing the construction, the water level rises constantly, creating this huge water body where there was none leaving the community a happy lot kwa mazi yetu ndo apol ke mondi usongolo na ba nyo nje to kaiti riva nibo be kindi ne unga meta chama kaiti riva sadda se o pep group utoni develop ala ne maka ngome ara o kuma ko wele Proposal 
na mea za kuka last man kana mimi mbele kama mbele kwa sababu mimi ni kumi ya nana na tu naende kwa tena matuta ile sio mno mke ka kuisila na ni anga ina kutebi ya utoni tiba tena kuweza kwa kama mimi na tu na kiongo ina 26 days ina dala utoni muone hii na yuko tuambi yango meno kaiti kaka yai na kigo kimo kwa na baiba dhi ndo tuje ba yai ndi baiki banga kidi kwa i try na usenyo jule tena ni ubingi yango mone tena bikafuti umu kigo chambe ya kwamba umande ndo kuina imbua na kigo chambe ya kwamba kingi kwenye ruge to kumo ulu na kina waka kina uswa kalibu yuki na kalibu to duwa mito mitaiti mito mwana nisu mandi kitanga bia nipo tu kuona kweli ngaiwe ni muombie ndine sawe dia kiguke bana tutinanga kigu tutachena ko patu yini beba kitume ati ni nesa ta kunywa na kutevya ndo ni asia round itenando about 4000 people ando ngilina alama ile ba mitume ka ngome nyuma na ngome la yaki Ndio ni yeyo na kidi sito ni kwa ndoa ile kuwe mamiondeno toka ngidi atoka banda mboka atoka banda makovi sito kwa banda mbemba ikae dia mikune ikae ya ngombe ni siapo ata kiguko kupe ko ni asia isila utoni kwa hotel yo to lono manasi ndio ni hiyo moyo mono no meet mr jona malika who is the chairman of utoni development organization and also the chair of their self help group He explains how he has utilized water from the sand dam. Other self-help groups are also quick to show us 
how the sand dams have benefited them. This, this place, the group is called Makuta Mwea, self group. Ninja chairman, Ninja Chasave. He's the chairman of the group. The group was started in 2005. Then they worked together with the Tone Development Organization. They have constructed seven sand dams. They have seen the benefit of the importance of the sand dams since they started working with the Tone. Initially the rivers had dried up, there was no water, but after doing the sand dams, then they got the water is in the dams. They have a group water pump, motorized pump, that they got through the support of the organization. And they do horticultural production, then they sell. Now, they have uh, sold the, the vegetables and uh, been able to buy a piece of plot. They have constructed a house. The Maasai, who are world renowned for upholding their culture, have not been left behind on the sand dam projects. Water from the sand dam is used to quench thirst for their dear livestock. UDO also helps farmers in the construction of rock catchment and reservoirs. A visit to one of the self-help groups by the name Miamba Mitamboni shows how these rock catchments have helped to increase water security. In tackling the deforestation catastrophe, UDO involves itself in tree planting and protection of forests. In Mutito and Makweni County, UDO has established an agroforest project. The project 
which lies on a 20-acre piece of land, has over 5,000 different species of trees. Other projects that Utooni Development Organization helps the communities to undertake include the following. Conservation of soil through terracing, improvement of food production using drought-resistant crops and animal husbandry, implementation and maintenance of crop irrigation systems, improving knowledge and skills through community trainings and last but not least conservation of endangered species udo projects are stemmed from the idea that indigenous practices can be harnessed or improved to create sustainable development and that indigenous knowledge has unique easy to transfer and apply properties that need to be preserved if ultimate development is to be achieved. Since its inception, UDO has achieved the following outputs and the results of their work from 1978 to January 2012 is as following. The total number of sand dumps built is 1,469. 8, 541 water tanks have also been built. Three rock catchments have been built. The length of terraces dug is 1,488.059 meters. The number of trees planted is 909,295. 68 demonstration farms have been maintained. 69 tree nurseries have also been established. Number of seed banks is 64. And the number of protected forests is 3. Join us as we support and enable communities in the arid and semi-arid lands to improve their livelihoods through our holistic project approach, HPA. You can contact us by mailing us Utoni Development Organization, PO Box 89, Kola Machakos. Our physical address is Kola via Machakos Water Road. Our telephone number is plus 254-718-347-158 or plus 254-789-325-718. You can also email us on info at utohonidevelopment.org. Our website is www.utohonidevelopment.org. Utohoni Development Organization, the lead advocate and implementers of sand dam holistic projects.